Heavenly Father, we invite you to send your spirit to be with us this morning as we turn to the pages of scripture. Would you shine your light on the word and help us to understand and to apply what you say to us, to our lives. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity we have to get together. And we just pray that as we share this time together, you will um, bind us together in unity and love and draw us closer to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so this morning's passage is um, Mark chapter 3, verses 13 to 19. Actually, you're going to get two passages this morning because you can get one from Luke as well for free. So there you go. Uh, So Mark chapter 3, 13 says this. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed 12 that he might be with them, that he might send them out to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. These are the 12 he appointed. Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. To them he gave the name Boanerges, which means sons of thunder. Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. I'm going to read the the parallel passage in Luke, because that gives us another insight, which I think we'll find helpful this morning. But it's very, very similar. It's in Luke chapter 6, starting at verse 12. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When the morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he he also designated apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who's called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. So I thought it was helpful just to, to look at those two passages together because um, what Luke tells us, which we don't see in Mark. In Mark, we see that Jesus went to a mountainside and called his disciples to him. But in Luke, we see that Jesus went out to the mountainside to pray um, and he spent the whole night praying there. Um, and I think it just reinforces what we were talking about yesterday, about the you know, Jesus found it was important to withdraw from the crowds, to withdraw from the people who are opposing him, to spend time with his heavenly father praying. Um, and he, he would do that um, often, went up to a mountainside to pray. And on this particular occasion, when he wanted to appoint his, his 12 special apostles, 12 disciples, who'd be his um, closest group of friends, um, he spent the whole night praying. And I find that particularly challenging because um, I, I've, I don't think I've ever managed to spend a whole night in prayer. I've done half nights of prayer, um, uh, but it, it, it's usually sort of, you know, an hour or so and I started to, 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 to flag a bit in my praying but Jesus spent the whole night praying because this was such a key and important decision he wanted to know his father's heart um, for these apostles and then the other thing to notice is quite simply that Jesus appointed the 12 and we've got the two lists of names and we get a little bit of more information in one list to, and the other but I think the key thing is if in Mark's gospel we read that he appointed them and gave them authority to preach and to drive out demons and I find this quite remarkable we're only in Mark chapter 3 we're really still only at the very beginning of Jesus ministry even in Luke's gospel it's only chapter 6 and the first two or three chapters of of Luke are are related to Jesus birth and John the Baptist and and those aspects of the story Um, so Jesus very very early on in in his time on earth his own ministry was giving authority and um equipping his apostles his disciples to preach and to drive out demons Um, and I just find that a bit challenging because I think um, we sometimes are very slow to give people authority and responsibility to do things uh, when actually it really it's from the word go that Jesus calls us to be involved in ministry we we may grow in experience and gifting as we as we mature but even new Christians actually do have authority uh, to to share the good news of Jesus and to drive out demons So hopefully those are a few thoughts which will um, bless you this morning. I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, I'm I'm challenged again this morning by Jesus' uh, priority of prayer and his priority of taking time to get away from the the busyness of life, from from family, from friends, from church, from, from work, in order to spend time with you. And Lord, I pray for each of us this morning that we will um, just be captivated by this 
potential that we have of spending time in intimacy with you alone in a special place. Lord, for some of us, there are different challenges that make that more difficult than others, but we pray that you'd help us to identify ways and times when we can do that and really be alone with you and deeply in fellowship with you. And Lord, too, we're challenged by um, this commission that Jesus gave to his disciples to, to preach the good news of the kingdom and to drive out demons and to heal the sick. And we're challenged because uh, we so often feel that we need to have more knowledge and more experience before we're ready to do that. And yet these, these disciples were probably only a few weeks into their relationship with Jesus. So we pray, Lord God, that every single one of us, whether we've been Christians a long time or a short time, will actually discover that you have given us the same authority to declare the good news, to heal the sick and to drive out demons in the lives of others. In Jesus' name. Amen.